Hey everybody, it's me, Ignatius, here in Dubai. The last time we've talked, we was uh, Thailand on the beach. This time I'm in the in Dubai, but this particular place is called Jumeirah Village Circle. I'm renting a space over here in this co-living building, and uh, there's a really cool balcony over here. It's more like a terrace. Terrace. Today I wanted to talk to you about something I've noticed over here, which is uh, one day, like it was like a second day over here, I uh, woke up and I went to the, to the gym. And uh, I noticed few people working out, but one guy, he had uh, those stretch marks on his arms. Uh, typical stretch marks that you would see on a person who lost a lot of weight or uh, you know, lost a lot of muscles, like there was some kind of a big change in the, in the body composition. And I asked him if he, if he suffers from uh, back pain or any other muscle pains. He told me that in fact he does, uh, he has a lot of uh, back pain. And, and then I realized, I mean, and then I realized something important, it, which is, I have been experiencing a lot of muscle pains, muscle tensions uh, in my life recently, but throughout like the last few years, it has been an increased uh, amount of them. What was also increasing was the amount of weight I was losing. So today I wanted to talk to specifically people who suffer from any kind of muscle tension, muscle pains, who at the same time lost any kind of weight. Uh, the more you've lost your weight, the more likely you experience these kinds of pains. So for me, there, you know, I, I've been looking for a lot of solutions. I, this is not gonna be a video about how I lost that weight. This is me like a few years ago. It's been almost 40 to 50 kilos that I lost. But in the process of doing that, my body were, had to adapt to the new way of living, essentially. From walking, sitting, to sleeping, everything that I do right now, well, it's, it's still in the process, but everything has to change because my body, my, my nervous system was, uh, got used to me waiting, you know, way more. And I think a lot of people who have lost weight or who, yeah, who will have lost a lot of weight, uh, experience all those muscle pains because, you know, their nervous system is just, it's, 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 it's suited, it's accustomed to a different, uh, different body type and different body, it's a different amount of fat uh, or a muscle amount. So long story short, I've been looking for a solution to my muscle tension problems and I talked to this guy that second day, Lamar, and I told him, listen, there are, are exercises that will help you lose that pain, get rid of that pain and make your body understand that you are now a different person. You have a different uh, physiology. You behave differently. You don't, you don't have that much weight on you. You can relax certain parts of your body. And uh, well, he asked me about them. I obviously sent him, but I, I thought at that point that I need to make this video because if, if it helps just one person, to help you know, those really horrible muscle spasms or tensions or cramps, it's worth it then. So the, so, so the solution is something called somatic exercises. And uh, I found a person, a doctor, I don't remember the name, she wrote a book about this, but she also has uh, online classes uh, that you can attend to, you can, you can, you can use to, to learn about this. What I did, I, I started the lessons, I also started to read a book. I finished the book, 
I, I keep doing the exercises and it is a solution from my perspective. It's a long-term solution. How do you think about somatic exercises? What, uh, what are they? Essentially, when you think about stretching, stretching is almost like a short-term solution to this problem. You, you stretch your muscles and, you know, in the book that she wrote, it's actually not the best thing you could do for your body because you could actually hurt yourself via stretching. Obviously, there's a part where, there's a moment where you feel a lot of relief when you stretch properly and uh, you can actually get addicted to that. And I just thought that's what happened with me. I got addicted to certain types of stretches with my body. You know, I, I still like, Whenever I feel pain in part of my body, I, I would, I would uh, instinctively stretch that part. But what she actually uh, understood and, and explained in the book is the fact that it's about like every, every bit of uh, tension in your body starts with your brain, how your brain works, how your brain allows certain muscles to relax or, you know, uh, stretch or compress. And you... If you want to long-term fix those muscle problems, those muscle, those muscle tensions, you have, to, you have to approach the problem from the nervous system's perspective. That's the only way to do it. Because if you want to, if you want to keep stretching your body, uh, feel free to do so, but it's not going to solve the problem long-term. So I'm going to link to everybody, everything here. I'm going to put the links in the description. Because I, I I'm not an expert in like how to communicate this particular bits of knowledge, I can only reflect and res uh, reflect on my experience and give you an account of how it works with me. I actually do those exercises in the morning uh, before I work out and in the evening before I go to sleep. And uh, I, I mean, in a nutshell, and those exercises, somatic exercises, are also called pandiculation, and it's about a gentle and incredibly slow movements that kind of tense your muscles the first moment but at the same time kind of slowly start to release those muscles and through that particular activity your neural pathways get strength strengthened and uh, over time you get more relaxed you know on a constant basis and especially if you've lost a lot of weight and your body was like 20 30 kilos uh, heavier you need that and i'm telling you because that's my situation and i was not sure what's happening with me i was really petrified at some point that i have some you know neurological disease because you know my body kept aching but this is a matter of muscle tension you've got to fix that your brain first and then your muscles will naturally release and relax I really, really encourage you to check it out and spend some time. If you want to read a book about this, it's, it really paints the picture not only about this particular way of uh, exercise, but also about pain itself and how currently the state of the world is that you gotta, you got you got you got to treat the pain uh, like a symptom treatment rather than the core of the problem treatment. And I fucking hate this approach where you just treat the symptoms. I, I never really liked how people were treating, treating problems uh, so shallowly. I always wanted to understand a deeper, a deeper uh, layer to the problem, deeper layer to any particular challenge I may go after. And in this case, you know, pain can be... Sorry, I had to check if this is still recording. <laughs> so pain can be so debilitating, can be so hardcore and just make your life so miserable. And especially chro chronic pain. So we're not talking like broken leg or, you know, uh, like a flu or, you know, something that just happens right now. But like a pain that evolves over time because of how your body moves, how, how your how you position your body in, in space, how you, how you sit, you know, do you, do you cross your legs constantly? How do you sit in front of a computer? Like, the pain that kind of evolves with us over time. And you, 
with this kind of exercises, you start to gain more control of your body. You start to pay attention to certain parts of your body that you are not really uh, even aware of. In my case, when I run right now, and I used to run a lot, I used to run like, you know, 10 kilometers per day. Uh, now I can, you know, I don't really want to run that much. I was doing that because I was really after a runner's high in the first place, but the second, uh, on the other hand, I was, I was really like aiming to lose weight. Mm, did it help? Maybe, potentially. Definitely helped with my like mindset, but but I was, you know, as I do it right now, I suddenly like feel my di diaphragm tensing, you know, and I realized I have been positioning my pelvis in a in a wrong way. I mean, I've been I've been doing like a you know kind of like like uh, pushing my ass to the back, and now I kind of like uh, rotate my pelvis slightly to the to the fr to the front. Uh, like I don't know, like to the, like this, and uh, I instantly feel the difference. Especially when I run, that's the, the the biggest contrast. But also when I just walk around, and uh, I would have those moments when I would, you know, go to a public space with you know a lot of people around, and sometimes I would get anxious in in the places like that. You know, there's a lot of people, a lot of movement. Like I used to love places like that. I went to the expo here in Dubai. I freaking hate it. I mean, it feels like a airport mixed with mall. It's just a horrible experience. And because of the amount of people, I don't know. I don't know. There's something wrong with that place. But, uh, but you know, as soon as I, I felt the tension when I was walking there, I was like, okay, okay, oh, listen up. Like, this could be a anxious energy coming from me, but I feel my body tensing. And because I started to do those exercises, I started to notice, okay, so this, is, this could be like a diaphragm uh, tensing, it could be like abdominal muscles tensing, and they kind of like, may, maybe there's something at the back that I feel tense. And I started like, as soon as I started to notice that, and I started to like uh, pay attention to my body, at the same time like strategically like, you know, pushing my muscles in the right spaces, I started to gain more and more control over how I feel. And, you know, the goal here is to not be tense at all if that can happen. But sometimes we, could just, we just cannot help it. You know, some situations will make me tense. I would have a call with a client or I would have a, you know, a presentation or, you know, some kind of a stressful situation. My body will naturally tense because I'm like, you know, this fight or flight mode. But understanding where, how I can alleviate those problems, how I can, every single day work on my nervous system it really first of all i feel less pain now it still happens sometimes i wake up i still wake up at night you know tense a little bit heart pounding you know and then i i do a few of those pandiculation exercises and i i calm myself down i i release the tension i go to sleep and i wake up refreshed so i'm pretty sure that in my condition, where I've lost a lot of weight over the last five years, I used to weigh 100 and kilos, 130 kilos. Uh, now I weigh around 85, 4. That's my uh, account of what's happening. I believe strongly. If you experience pain in your muscles and you have lost a lot of weight, You've got to learn how to walk again. You've got to learn how to sit again. You've got to learn how to position your body when you, when you talk to people, when you, when you are in a relaxed and tense situation. And somatic exercises and pandiculations is the solution. Um, of course, deeper understanding will be incredibly beneficial for you. But you don't have to really understand. You just have to follow the, the course that I'm going to link to and it's, it's definitely gonna help you. Like, across board, not just with current tension, but you may actually experience increase of energy and, 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 and happiness levels in your life because suddenly you will feel, you'll start to feel calmer and more relaxed. And how awesome is that, right? So, 
If you have any questions about my journey or this particular type of exercises, I'm, I'm really happy to have this conversation in comments or shoot me an email or whatever. Really, if, if there's just one person who would benefit from my account of this uh, experience with those kind of exercises and with this kinds of transform, transformation in, in, in their life, then I'm, you know, I'm happy. Uh, have a great day and uh, how, how do I say it? Sending regards now, it's like, uh, hello from Dubai. <laughs> Bye.